worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Hello, welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel on radio This Wednesday, 22nd day in November shall not be ordinary Wednesday for you. God will open his bowel of mercy upon your life. This day will drop you on it. As this year gradually winds up, so will God fast track all your miracles and blessings that ought to have reached you since the beginning of the year. You will end this year in greatness, in favor, in power, and in healthiness. You are welcome. Don't miss this ministration on this radio station every day. We bring you daily ministration to end your frustration and start your celebration. Don't miss it and connect all your family members and your friends and neighbors. Ask them to tune in regularly. What you receive daily under divine inspiration will make a huge difference. Then do your jottings and apply the insightful teachings to your life. We always start with faith confession. Faith is a confession. He said that we should say that will I do. Don't say negative things to your life, to your situations, to your children, to your body, to your marriage. Don't ever say any negative thing. Don't say I'm dying. Don't say I'm sick. Don't say I'm broke. Don't say they won't allow me. Don't say anything. Maybe people say terrible things to their lives, negative things just to look for sympathy what you need is not human sympathy what you need is divine intervention and it will come so whether you are able to say it loudly or quietly where you are anytime we are making this confession every day confess it with us these are the faith and powerful confessions we made at the prayer mountain every thursday and at the sunday service every sunday say it as we are saying it Say after me. My Father and my God, I have come before you again today to give glory and honor to you, to celebrate your faithfulness, to bow at your altar. I have also come to pour out my heart on all issues. To you that answers prayers, to you must all flesh come. Today I look up to you for open heavens. I look up to you for divine intervention. I look up to you for divine lifting. I will get them. By today's encounter, a new song will come. I will give a new testimony. All mountain issues before me, you shall be leveled up. All valley matters, you shall be filled up. Today is anointing for generational wealth transfer. Not only will I be blessed, it shall be transferred to my children, my life, and all connected to me shall enjoy your blessing. Every impediment, whatever has been reducing my health in all areas of my life, Today is divine judgment. Divine judgment over adversaries, over sicknesses and diseases, over embargoes, over delays, over failures. Today is divine judgment. By today's encounter, I will fly higher. I will move better. My life will give more glory to you. Thank you for hearing me. In Jesus' name. Amen. As you have said this, so will it be. Amen. Wow. Now, let's pray. I want you to pray this prayer. Say this prayer. Say, Oh Lord, my God, as this year moves to an end, let my blessings be fully delivered. Any good thing that will make me happy and glorious this year, release it to my life. Go ahead. Ask for yourself. Ask for your children. Ah, ask God, God my heavenly Father, let this year end for me in good news, in good news, breaking news everywhere. Say that. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, ask and it shall be given to you. 
in verse 8. He says, He that asketh receiveth. Ask God any good thing you want Him to do for you and your family before the end of this year. Ask now, ask now, before I put my prophetic blessings on it. What are the good things, good doors, good possibilities you want God to make happen for you, your family, your children before the end of this year? I prophesy it shall be so. You receive it as desired in Jesus' name. Right? We are still on the topic stock taking before the end of the year. Stock taking before the end of the year. After stock taking, we will go to goal setting. Stock taking and goal setting. This is how to run a beautiful and a successful year. Our text is still in the book of Matthew. Matthew chapter 5. We started with it yesterday, verses 14 and 15, and then verse 19. Let me take a reading again today. The Bible says, For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servant, and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to every man according to his several abilities, and straight away he took his journey. That was where we started yesterday. And I said, the talents were not theirs. There were two main points we covered yesterday. Number one, the talents given to the three of them were not theirs. And we said, none of us owned what we have, including our lives, our houses, our properties, our jobs, our goods, our natural abilities. None of us own what we have. So be careful how you utilize what God gave to you on loan. Number two, mandate. They were given a mandate to trade and make profit. Mm. God expects us to live a profitable life. I prophesy to all my listeners' lives, your life will be profitable. Your life will be progressive. You will not be redundant. You will not be stuck in life. Say amen, amen, and amen. Let's move on from there today. There is so much to glean from this revelation. Number one today, open market. Yes. Life is an open field for everybody to trade and make gain. The three of them were sent out to the open market. That's another thing. Other people's success cannot stop your own success. Yes, you heard me well. Other people's breakthrough cannot stop your own breakthrough. We have equal opportunities. See your own and engage them. There are those who see only our difficulties in every opportunity. There are those who see opportunities in difficulties, whereas others see difficulties in opportunities. Do you know hard time are opportunities for many people to make it? Now, many people in life are like that one man that has one talent. He went and buried his own, complaining, he gave me only one. Things are hard. Do you know, in this same Nigeria, where many people are saying things are tough, things are difficult, inflation, hyperinflation, naira devaluation, Petrol is costly, gas is costly, food is costly. I want to jackpot, Otisumi, Ilule, but do you know why some people are making those complaints? Others are making it. Some people are making it without stealing, without corruption, without doing rituals. No, some people are making it. It's not everyone breaking through in Nigeria that is stealing. It's not everyone that is uh, in the National Assembly collecting 160 million naira for SUV, 70 million naira to change their office furniture. I mean, stealing all our money. It's not everyone that is there. No, there are those that are making clean money and they are making it. Nigeria is a fertile ground and it will be fertile for you. Oh, what you need is an idea. What you need is an open window. What you need is a divine connection. And that is why this anointing is coming to you. God will take you from the valley where you are and plant you on the mountain top. It's not everyone that is making it in life that is a thief. Stop calling rich people thief. It's not. There are many with clean investment. They have ideas. They have a mentor. Somebody put them through on time. Some inherited in the family and they built on it. You will move for that. It's not everybody. What the Bible said there was darkness in Egypt, but light shone in Goshen. Why Egyptians, the citizens in Egypt, were complaining, were selling their things? There was economic recession then. Can I say to my listeners, economic recession is not new. 
It has always been happening. And people had lived above it, on top of it, and turned it around. You will live on top of this one. It will not swallow you. Egyptians were selling their things, were complaining, and Joseph, an immigrant, was smiling to the bank. There was darkness in Egypt, but light shone in Goshen. That's why you need to come under the light of the word of God, of the name of Christ, under an enabling anointing, so that it does not matter how hard, it does not matter how difficult. Can I say this to you? There are poor people in rich nations, and there are rich people in poor nations. It is not the nation, it is not the atmosphere, it is who you connect to. I prophesy to everyone's life, the power of God will lift you high and make you connect to your purpose. God will give you fresh ideas. i like everybody to pray. I will push on on this tomorrow. Pray and say, oh Lord my God, open my eyes to what, what we walk. Open my eyes to what is working. Let what I am doing now work better. Many of you are engaged in one thing or the other. Ask God to let it work better. It does not matter how hard, how difficult, sun will still shine. Come and begin to say, I will shine. My business, my family, my children, despite darkness, we will shine. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Remember that God is expecting us to make profit. Life is an open market for everyone to trade. And there are those who are seeing opportunities, even in this hard time, you will be one of them in Jesus' name. Now, from what ministration, listen to people's testimonies. My name is Perpetual. Hmm, I like that. I'm here to thank God. I was so surprised what God did for me this morning. I woke up this morning. I cannot see clearly. Though for some months now, I've been going to eye clinic. I woke up with one eye closing with heavy load on it. I just said, God of Pastor Femi Emmanuel, visit me this morning. To my greatest surprise, when daddy started praying this morning, the first issue that he mentioned, those with eye issue, put your hand there. I said, God, is it how you want to visit me this morning? I just placed my, my hand there. Getting here this morning, I was there in the first service. Two minutes, five minutes, I'll be cleaning the tears coming from my eyes. Since morning till now, I've not cleaned it. Ten minutes ago, I was sitting down here. I heard it clearly. What of the tears that are always coming out from your eyes? I said, Jesus, it's true. That's why I said, let me come and testify. Praise the Lord. You are healed forever. My name is Aino. On Tuesday, my daughter called me. That mommy, I didn't want to kidnap me to jail. I said, ah, kidnap you, okay. where are you? She said she was in school, that she was going to maybe lecture room or something like that. That some guys just parked beside her, that we are come inside. Come inside to where, that they are going somewhere, and you have to go and show them the place. I said, she doesn't know anywhere, this and that. Come inside, then one of them said that, ah, ah, why did you put on, um, Handkerchief on your head. Mm. Said that I, that's how my mommy said I should be using it. They get out, get out, get out. They were shouting on her, go away, go away. That's why they push her away. That was why she was escaped. My name is Esther. Yeah, this is my first time to testify here. I've been I've joined this church for like five months now. I want to give glory to God. It has been awesome since I joined this church. I have a lot of testimony. Mm. But fast forward to last week, thus, okay, two weeks ago, three weeks ago I was here. I've been praying to God that I want my friends to join the church. And I've been telling him he didn't mm. follow me. So that day I just opened my phone, brought his picture. I made sure that laid mm. hands on him. But by the last week, by the grace of God, we are here together. Come on. That one is number one. Then number two, I was sitting at the overflow last week, Thursday, and I was telling my friend, all of you have been getting miracle alert. How come? Fine, my business is going well. I have a lot of income, but this miracle alert is not even coming to me. So <laughs> my boss people. was owing me, I, I'm into photography, so my boss was owing me 20K. So that Thursday night when I got to, my boss called me like, Esther, you are owing me 20 
thousand naira. Meanwhile, I was wearing my printer hundred k, and my printer came to my place that Thursday. So I had to go and buy perfume. I like walk back. Moti lo wele wa malo. So my boss just called me. Okay, I want to send hundred thousand to you. I was like, oh God, you are me twenty k. I just feel like dashing you money. Honestly, it was like a, it was like a film. But I give glory to God. Thank you. Sir. After this encounter, somebody will feel like dashing you money. From America, from UK, from Canada, from Nigeria, they will just be dashing you money. My name is Favor. I want to testify to the goodness of the Lord. Four months ago, I went for eye test. Immediately, the doctor said, Madam, in 10 years' time, you'll be blind. I said, Ah, doctor, are you sure what you are saying? He said, That is what I saw. So my mind went off. I'm not myself again. And now, I now remember, I said, ah, God, I've not given me the spirit of fear, but the power of love and of a sound man. So when I now come back, the devil continued reminding me, Just 10 years, you'll be blind, not be seeing anybody. So I now remember my where I belong to. I said after all, I belong to a, a, a commission that yeah, you use what uh, anointing oil. I said I apply the anointing oil, I apply it, I drink the water, I put the mantle, I cover my eyes, I continue doing I saw my battle seat, my monthly seat. I uh -huh, said, uh -huh. God of turning point, you are going to fulfill your promise in my life. Uh -huh. So last uh, Saturday I went for another test. I went different type of test. After doing that, the last one. The doctor said, uh, Madam, you are free, but you will use your glasses. I said, uh, Doctor, please come back again. Did I hear you clear? I said, Madam, I didn't see anything. Hey. I said, Are you sure? I kept quiet again when it was right. I said, Are you sure? I said, Madam, I didn't see anything. You are clear. Go. Hallelujah. I just want to give God the glory. Praise the Lord. Your life will live with you to the end of your life. Wow, you will not just be listening to other people's testimonies. You also will have plenty of testimonies to share. If you're already sharing testimonies, you will share more. Is today your bad day? I want to pray for November 22 born people. Place your hand on your chest as you receive these prophetic prayers. The Lord will bless you. The grace of God will rest on you. You will age gracefully. Oh, you will not beg in your old age. The Lord will cause everything you do to prosper. You will live long and live well. In Jesus' name, say amen. I receive it. Then, my listeners, have you connected to our social media platforms? Do so now. What you listen to on radio is one and it goes. But what you have on your phone, thank God for the technology of phone, is permanent until you delete it. So, let us send you a daily devotional message to your Telegram, to your WhatsApp, to your app, your YouTube, your Facebook and TikTok for your early morning prayers. 10 to 12 minutes prayers, daily devotion before God as an individual or as, your, your, or as a family. Let God be the first in your life. Your days will be more beautiful that way. So go to your Telegram, search for Turning Point Global Family. You will see it. Tap join. Turning Point Global Family on Telegram. Tap join. Our system will pick it up and daily send you these 10 to 12 minutes Daily devotion, 12 midnight, and so that when you wake up, the first thing on your phone and use it for a daily devotion, full of inspiration, full of wisdom, full of empowerment, divine direction every day. Are you on Facebook? Go to your Facebook and type at the real Femi Emmanuel. Like and follow. Instagram. Go to your Instagram and type at the real Femi Emmanuel. Follow. TikTok also at the real Femi Emmanuel follow and like then on your youtube we send a short video to youtube every day full of inspiration of anointing of divine help youtube at the real family emmanuel subscribe and turn on notification please do so now be on our social media platform and you will have connected to a global community in 198 nations of the world do so now and those of you that are already there be forwarding it to other people and this one tomorrow thursday tomorrow all road leads to dominion city aduloju bus stop along the world road Dojo express road ibadan for tomorrow's prayer mountain services two services i invite all listening to me in and around ibadan outside ibadan people are coming from outside ibadan other cities other towns to thursday prayer mountain services 
tomorrow, Thursday, November 23, and two services, like I've said, the first service is 7 to 9 a.m. early morning. From there, you go to where you have for the day. You still have your full day to yourself. Second service is 9.30 to 11.30, another two hours mid-morning. Please come, and it will change everything around you. Prayer focus for tomorrow is heavy, is powerful. Covenant of financial explosion, of financial empowerment. Come and hear the teachings. Come and receive the prayers. Come and be anointed for financial explosion. If you are doing well before, you will do better. If you are doing better, you will do best. And if you are down, still crawling, confused, things are not happening, they are happening, there will be a change around. God wants to make you rich and wealthy. He wants to prosper you. Come for the impartation and the teaching and the anointing. We will give you an anointed man to free of charge for praying and doing miracle. All these testimonies you are hearing, they are coming from Dominion City Administration every Thursday and Sunday services. Poverty is not a virtue, it's a virus. God did not create you with poverty DNA. It shall be removed from you. What makes you poor? You will see it. And what will make you rich? You will also see it and be connected. Now, this is the prophetic action for tomorrow. Bring a currency of choice from home. As a point of contact, could be 1,000 Naira note, 500 Naira note, 200 Naira note, 100 Naira note, 50 Naira note, 10 Naira, 20 Naira note. It's your note. You will take it back with you. We will anoint it for you. Those of you who have the previous one, please bring it. Bring things, papers, documents connected to your career and your business enterprise invite other people god that two people like us out of poverty out of obscurity we also lift you up like i said you already have money you will have it better god will open a way give you an idea connect you to people nationally and internationally it is anointing for financial explosion others are making it you will also make it without being sinful without being unrighteous without being polluted without being corrupt god will bless the little god and bless five loaves of bread two fishes to feed multitude and have leftovers ah there will be a blessing pronouncement and anointing on you tomorrow bring a water bottle that will be blessed for you you drink it and your healing will be in place Buses will be positioned at Living Spring Chapel, Songo Ibadan, to bring people to and fro in the two services. Also at the Poplar Petrol Station, to bring people to and fro in the two services. There are communities that are close to Dominion City. I always call you out. You are our neighbors. People are coming from all over Ibadan, as big as Ibadan City is. People are coming from Ogun State or Shu State and all other states that you are close. So if you are a resident of the Midere Estate, Samba Moraya Hotel area, Olon Tedo Estate, Jack area, Aduloju Community, Iano Bodija, Ori of First Street, Alak Banyu Quarters, A3 Hotel area, Rainbow area, Kajorepo Kajola, Ajao Community, Agbowo Express, Barika Water, Ojo Bashorun, Orogun, Major Salawo area, Ashi Bodija, General Gas, Akobo area, Akala Way, and University of Ibadan. You are not far at all from Dominion City. 20 minutes walk, 15 minutes walk, 10 minutes drive, 20 minutes drive, and then a drop. You are there. People are coming from outside the battle every Thursday. Those of us that are already coming, come consistently. In working with God, consistency is key. Keep coming. Dedicate every Thursday two hours to God on prayer mountain. And you will see the turn around. Don't forget the currency you are to bring. Don't forget things to represent what you need that God will give you. Two telephone numbers to call to connect to our social media platform as I have announced and to also describe how to locate Dominion City in case you don't know that place. 0805 804 I'll call it the third time. 0805 and 0813-485-2813. 0813-485-2813. Start calling, send an SMS, chat with them. If lines are busy, try again. They will put you through. What is left for me now is the prophetic blessing of today. Receive it. I command healing over there. I command fruitfulness over there. May this your desires become your testimonies. 
May this your expectations become your manifestations. From today, everything you point your hand to for good shall be added to you. From today, whatever you desire to fulfill purpose, to serve God, to make a difference, to impart your generation, to help your family, to help the needy, all the resources you need, may they be divinely released into your life. You will not work for another man to eat. Devourers will not feast on you. By this impartation, you are lifted above your challenges. You are lifted above your enemies. Whoever is out for you, God will come on them. He will fight your battles. Issues you left at home or wherever you are, whatever bothers you now, God will turn it around for you. Whatever is making you to feel miserable, making you uncompleted, somebody is listening to me now, you have no, you feel you have no reason to be alive again. The enemy is a liar. That thing that is frustrating you is removed from your life. I speak to your business outfit. I speak to your platform. I speak to your network. I speak to your ministry. I speak to your family. I speak to your children. I speak to anything that is important to you. May the power of God take it over. May he make you a role model. A mentor to your mate. He will fight those fighting you. God will bless those blessing you. God will fight those fighting you. We turn over the battle to the Lord. He will talk over your battles. He will fight and give you victory. In Jesus name. So shall it be. So it is. In Jesus name. Wow. You will not just be hearing prophetic proclamation. They will be manifesting in your life and in your things. Femi Manuel is my name. I'll come your way again tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.